Hello world and welcome to the Mecca of Mastery TV. I am your host Mecca. If it is your mission to become the greatest version of yourself in every area of your life and get into a deep space of alignment with who you truly are, then you, my soul friend, are in the right place. I'm so excited about this episode because in this video we are speaking about personal and spiritual development and the topic of this video is the best way to cleanse your mind body and spirit let's get straight into the video Baby, you want a full rebirth? You are in a space in your life maybe where you like, I can't take it no more. I need a cleanse. I feel dirty energetically, mentally, physically, overly stimulated. I just feel just stuffed. I just need to let it go. I need a full cleanse. What do I do? Uh, I know that feeling, okay? And I'm here to help you with that and offer some advice. And I pray that this is something that can really help you. But before we get into this drip, make sure you make it official if you are not a family member here at Mecca Mastery TV. And you hit that subscribe button so you never miss any updates. Because I have weekly soul food. Every single week I am dropping food for your soul. Okay? Now, let's get into it. Mind, body, and soul cleanse. What is the best way? I'm just going to jump into it. The video is going to be quick. I don't beat around the bush with my content, y'all. I go straight into it. Currently, I am on day four of my water fast. I am on a water fast where I am not drinking anything but water and herbal tea. I'm not eating any food at all, okay? I'm not eating any food at all. Also, while I'm on this fast for seven days, this is day four of seven, I have refrained from social media. I have refrained from Instagram and Facebook and things of that nature. Those are the social media apps that I use. I use YouTube only for like looking at different stuff. I looked at recipes for when I break my fast. Um, I listen to a tarot reading and I'm audio books. That's about it. Um, I'm breaking away from all media. I have not been talking to people really like that personally. If I do, my family would call me for about 13 minutes. I've probably got a question and then I'm off the phone. And I've been in just a space of silence. I have not been listening to music. I probably only listened to music once for about 25 minutes during my work while I was scheduling out emails and that's it. So this was a way for me to get closer to the divine, to get closer to God, but also to hear the, my voice very more clear than I, than I was hearing the voice of the world. The voice of the world was stimulating my space and my auric field more than my voice was. I couldn't hear myself, okay? I couldn't hear my intuition as loud and clear as I usually would. When I would be in my meditations, I couldn't see the colors really, really deep because of the just, 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 just stimulation. Stimulation from running around and, and pouring into the world. Stimulation from constantly being on the media. Stimulation from eating and eating and eating and eating and never giving my body a reset. Stimulation from talking to people. Stimulation, okay? From my mind, my body, my spirit, training, working out, dancing. And I just needed a reset. I needed to get still. And so what happens is the best way to cleanse is when you actually get still and when you actually purge your mind, body, and spirit. So the purge for me, for my body, is the water. And also the water is purging my mind and my um, spirit as well. The mind part is also what am I taking in? What are you looking at? What are you reading? What are you watching? Who are you talking to? Deliberately for these seven days, I'm not talking to certain people. And I'll actually cut the access off for me. After these seven days, they don't get the access anymore. And if they do, it will be when I have the capacity to and if it's crucial. You know what I mean? I'm not going to talk about talk to people that want to sit there and talk my head off about things that don't matter. And that's going to feed fear into my space, right? So before my fast, what I did was I did get baptized over again. I did. I set some intentions. I had a full moon, uh, a new moon ritual about the things that I wanted. And then I went into a fast. So I set my intentions of what I wanted from this fast. And man, when I tell y'all, it's been so much that's been coming up from this fast. So much that I didn't even realize about myself. Oh my gosh. Mm. So many things I was taking for granted. Um, it's day four already, and I feel so connected to just the earth. I feel connected to myself. I think I'm about to cry. Mm. And 
and then not eating food, like not eating food. I never realized how much food is life. Okay. Food is life. Like I love food so much, but food is life. Like food deserves a whole prayer ritual. We pray over food because we were taught to like now with not having food for four days, total autumn hours. I have a different respect and love for food. I see it as its own being and entity. Like I look at everything and see God in it. I see the tripod. God is in this tripod. God is in this chair. God is in everything. I feel the essence of life. I feel life. I feel so present. And that is the best way to do a mind, body, and soul cleanse. Step out from the world. Step out from the matrix and step into yourself. I hear my voice clearly. The things I was running away from, I wasn't, I'm not running away from. I've been into silence and solitude. I've been getting things done that I haven't been able to get done for fucking not even months, but over years. I finally been getting them done, attending to them because I have the space internally to do it. So I highly recommend that you uh, check out water fasting or intermittent fasting. Water fasting, intermittent fasting, coming off the grid. And if you need to come off the grid, if you have a business, you can schedule out like your content and things like that. And you can do it to what is uh, appropriate to you. Maybe you only need three days. Maybe you need seven. Maybe you need 14. Maybe you need 21. Maybe you need 30. Pray about it. But that's what I recommend. And with that being said, I hope you love this video and you share this with somebody that you care about. Because we always say here at Mecca Mastery TV that sharing is caring. Okay, if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, you want to talk to me personally, just go ahead and hit the link in my description box below. It's called a pick my brain session. You can have a session with me for an hour. If you want advice um, on anything, or if you have advice for me, because I take advice too, or if you want me to um, talk about a certain topic here on the, on the channel, make sure you email me directly at meccabookings at gmail.com. And if you're on any of these social media platforms that you see on the screen here, make sure you follow me and connect with me on social media. And also head over to MeccaFreeman.com or just head to the description box below to see all the week, not the weekly, but all the soul food that we have available. I have so many guides as far as guides on how to start your spiritual journey, 21 day healing plans, seven day meditation guides, manifestation ritual guides, get your shit together guide, uh, tra childhood trauma course, and so much more. And as always, you, my soul friend, don't let anybody tell you that you can't do anything because you can do whatever you put your mind, body, and spirit to. Okay. I'm sending love, light, peace, gratitude, tranquility, good-ass vibes your way. Remember, alignment is the goal. i see you in the next episode with peace and love. See you.